Hello friends, my name is Catherine and welcome to Storytime. Let's start with our welcome song. say a special hello today to my friend Julian. Okay, let's begin story time with the song. Why don't we start with Skip to My Lou? Here we go. thinking what it would be like if the sun and moon could meet because you know the sun comes out in the day and the moon comes out at night well in this book let's see what happens when the sun and moon have a tea party and they actually could meet sun and moon have a tea party written by yumi ho illustrated by naoko stoop One late afternoon, the moon and the sun had a tea party. Do you know, said the moon, what moms and dads do? They get their children ready for bed. She took a sip of tea. No, they don't, said sun. Moms and dads get their children ready for school. Not so, said moon. Children have to go to sleep. Wrong, replied Sun. Children have to go to school. They walk across bustling sidewalks and across busy streets. Streets aren't busy. They're as dark and as lonely as a moonless sky, said Moon. No, no, streets are filled with people, just like the sky is filled with birds, said Sun. How can birds fill the sky, said Moon, when they are always snuggled down in their nests? How can birds snuggle down, said Sun, when they are flying over everything but us, above rivers like mirrors and wild flowers that bow hello in the wind? Rivers can only reflect my face, said Moon. They can reflect mine too, said Sun. I'm right and you're wrong, said Moon, putting down her cup. No, I'm right and you're wrong, said Sun, putting down his cookie. Just then, Cloud drifted by. What are you two arguing about? He asked. And so they explained. Hmm. Moon, you are right, said Cloud. And Sun, you are right too. You must each stay up past your bedtime and you will see. Early the next morning, Sleepy Moon rubbed her eyes and hid behind Cloud. This is what she saw. Moms and dads pouring cereal and putting on coats, dogs chasing their tails, and trees standing guard in green uniforms. Moon exclaimed, oh, How beautiful! 
Even the morning glories are saying good morning. All day long, the world was abuzz with activity. As dusk fell, Sleepy Sun rubbed his eyes and hid behind Cloud. This is what he saw. Moms and dads tucking in blankets and reading stories. Dogs sweetly dreaming and trees standing guard in gray pajamas. Who would have guessed? Sun exclaimed. Even the morning glories are fast asleep. All night long, the world was still. The following day, Sun thought of Moon, and the following night, Moon thought of Sun. And in the world below, everything shone in their light. The end. I hope you enjoyed that story. Well, wasn't it neat how the sun and moon discovered that they were both right? And it was the cloud who helped them see that. Well, there are also many ways to see a cloud. Why don't you watch this next part and see? It looked like spilt milk by Charles Green Shaw. Sometimes it looked like spilt milk, but it wasn't spilt milk. Sometimes it looked like a rabbit, but it wasn't a rabbit. Sometimes it looked like a bird, but it wasn't a bird. Sometimes it looked like a tree, but it wasn't a tree. Sometimes it looked like an ice cream cone, but it wasn't an ice cream cone. Sometimes it looked like a flower, but it wasn't a flower. Sometimes it looked like a pig, but it wasn't a pig. Sometimes it looked like a birthday cake, but it wasn't a birthday cake. Sometimes it looked like a sheep, but it wasn't a sheep. Sometimes it looked like a mitten, but it wasn't a mitten. Sometimes it looked like a squirrel, but it wasn't a squirrel. Sometimes it looked like spilt milk, but it was just a cloud in the sky. There's so many ways to see clouds, aren't there? Well, let's read one more story today. And in this one, there are lots of ways to see this animal. What is that? Looks like a kitty cat, doesn't it? And this book is called, They All Saw a Cat. By Brendan Wenzel. The cat walked through the world with its whiskers, ears, and paws. And the child saw a cat. And the dog saw a cat. And the fox saw a cat. Yes, they all saw the cat. The cat walked through the world with its whiskers, ears, and paws. And the fish saw a cat. And the mouse saw a cat. And the bee saw a cat. Yes, they all saw the cat. The cat walked through the world with its whiskers, ears, and paws. And the bird saw a cat. And the flea saw a cat. And the snake saw a cat. And the skunk saw a cat. And the worm saw a cat. And the bat saw a cat. Yes, they all saw the cat. Yes, they all saw a cat.
a child and a dog and a fox and a fish and a mouse and a bee and a bird and a flea and a snake and a skunk and a worm and a bat. The cat knew them all and they all knew the cat. And the cat walked through the world with its whiskers, ears and paws. Then it came to the water. And imagine what it saw. The end. I hope you enjoyed that book. We've come to the end of story time, so let's sing our farewell song. We wave goodbye like this. We wave goodbye like this. We clap our hands for all our friends. We wave goodbye like this. Thank you for coming, friends, and I'll see you next time.